Remote viewing allows you to edit files in the organelle with the computer. This includes anything from renaming a patch to working in the organelle's command line to editing patches in pure data. Let's start by creating an access point on the organelle, which initiates a Wi-Fi network that my computer can join. You can also do this with a pre-existing Wi-Fi network. Now that our organelle's access point is on, we'll select Start VNC. This creates the portal through which we can edit the contents of the organelle. On my computer, I'll join the organelle network. The default password is cool music. We recommend using VNC Viewer as we find it to be best for this process. It is available as an application or as a Chrome extension. Screen sharing is a similar program and is native to Mac OS, but has connection issues when used with the organelle. Let's start by opening VNC Viewer. Enter organellm.local colon 5901 to connect to the organelle. The organelle M's username and password are both music. Now we're looking at the organelle's desktop through VNC. If I take a look at the SD card folder, I'll find all the patches in my organelle. If I open a patch in my organelle, you'll see it pop up in pure data in my VNC viewer. Using VNC, we can make simple changes such as changing the name of a patch, or we can do something a little more complicated such as programming in PD. Let's make some simple changes. For example, let's say I like the sounds of analog style, but I want to change the range of one of the knobs. In analog style, knob one tunes the first oscillator going from zero to 2400 cents. If I subtract 2400 from this value, that will tune the oscillator two octaves lower because 2400 cents equals 24 semitones equals two octaves. Here's what it sounds like right now. Okay, let's enter editing mode by pressing Ctrl E. Let's make a little room by selecting these objects and dragging them over here. This is where we're gonna do our math. Disconnect two objects by clicking on the line between them and pressing delete. I can add an object after an existing object by selecting the existing object and hitting Ctrl 1. Now we subtract 2400 and click outside of the new object to create it. This value needs to go to the synth frequency and the screen. And make sure to add a space, otherwise the minus 2400 object is a negative 2400 object. And now let's check out our changes.